This is exercise 4.7 from the text. What I'm going to do is show you the working of this as a part of a series of exercises where I will work out different exercises from the text. This is 4.7 from the text. The problem says asks you to use linearity to find out the voltage V0. Uh, so the technique we use is uh, step 1. We assume V0 to be some arbitrary voltage. I'm going to say 1 volt. And Step two, find what uh, source voltage is based on this assumption and step three scale to find actual value we not. So the way I'm going to proceed then is we assume V naught is one volt. So so now that gives us a, a current across. So this whole current in this path, which is I naught. So I naught is V naught by 2 which is the current through this element which happens to be 1 by 2 which is 0.5 amps which gives us the <coughs> which also tells us that the voltage at this point let's call that V1 if you will V1 is given by 4 times 4 plus 2 times I naught which is which is the voltage drop from here to here assuming that this is my ground so V1 with respect to the ground is equal to 6 times 0 0.5 which is equal to 3 volts which tells me that the current through this let's call that I1 so that tells me that I1 notice that V1 is the voltage at, at this point which is the same as the voltage across this this resistor so I1 is given by V1 divided by 3 which gives me a 3 divided by 3 which is 1 amp which tells me that the current here so I source if you will is obviously given by I1 plus I naught which is 1 amp plus 0 0.5 which is 1.5 amps which tells me that the if I call this V source so that tells me that V source is given by 1 point so V source is the difference so 
V source is 4 volts, but we, we're assuming that we're not given this. We're going to find out what V source is based on the assumption that V naught is 1 volts. So V source is going to be the actual V source is, is can be calculated as being 1.5 times 1 which is the drop across so this is let's say v2 which is the drop across this plus v1 and which tells us that there is 1.5 because notice that v v source is is the voltage if you think of the this loop if you will or the voltage across this in this loop it's this voltage plus this voltage plus this voltage has to be equal to zero so that's where i'm getting this expression from this says that 1.5 plus 3 which by the way is our voltage here is equal to 4.5 volts but the v source calculated based on the assumption that v naught is 1 volt is 4.5 volts but the actual value of v source is 4 volts which implies that the actual value of v naught must be 4 divided by 4.5 volts which is going to be 0 0.889 volts or 889 millivolts so that's the end of this problem